All right, back to equations of a line. How is our um, general form for that written from the last lesson? Do you remember? Yeah, let's have a check. So, so like the same idea, in 2D we needed a point and a gradient. In 3D, what did we need? We needed a... There is a lambda involved. So it's, we needed a point and we didn't need a gradient this time. We needed a... Yeah, we needed the direction of a vector. Or another vector, essentially, right? So the arg? <laughs> well, the arg would give you in a two-dimensional space, right? So what's the direction of a... Essentially, the direction of a vector is in the 3D space is just another vector. So that's what we're looking for, right? So we need a point, and actually we need a vector. So maybe I make that clearer, we just say a vector, OK? <laughs> so um, the form that we had was R, some vector, is going to be equal to a plus lambda b. Now, when we created the equation alone, essentially what it was is, even though this is giving us a vector, if we think about all the possible values of lambda, then it, what we're creating is all these series of points which form our line, right? So if we had a point uh, A, which is represented by this vector, it has to be going in some direction B, so this guy over here. And then we added these together. As you stretch B along, because lambda is a scalar, right? Just changing its length and direction, you're going to create these series of points all along the tip to tail, and that's going to be creating your line here, right? So you can see that's how we can create a line that goes through a particular point and has a particular direction. Okay, so how do we actually answer questions like this? Well, common one, find the equation of a line. Yeah, so I guess we can sort of think about land as a gradient, but really this is your point. And then this is your, we call it like a direction vector, right? Because it's talking about the direction that's going. Because it has to be in the same direction as B or like parallel, right? So this is like the point that we're looking at. This is the direction. A is sort of like XY. Vector from, from the origin. Yeah, we, it has to be from the origin, yep. And then B, that can just be anywhere, right? That's the direction. But we, re but we give it as uh, position coordinates, so it's usually from the origin as well, right? So find the equation of a line through these two points. Mine. Same as always. Same old, same old. Find the vector equation of a line through, yeah. Oh, wait, did we write this down last time? Yeah, we did. Okay, well, let's have a think about it. And what a better way to think about it than to look at it. All right, now, I said that for a vector equation line, we need a point and a vector, right? But this is slightly different now because they're not exactly giving you that. They're saying, I need the equation of line through these two points here, right? So just be aware that these two vectors, right, none of them are actually the direction vector. Right? Can you see why? Because you can find the direction vector. How would we find it? Because we want the equation line that goes through like that, right? But none of these vectors are actually going in that direction. So what would we need to do to find the direction? B to A or A to B. Yep. So we're going to do A to B, B to A. Let's find A to B. <clears throat> so that would be B minus A. Or OB minus OA. And so that would be... Let's do it in... Column notation, so we've got 2, minus 1, negative 3, m minus negative 1, and then negative 1, minus 2. So 1, minus 2, minus 3. So <coughs> 1, <coughs> Minus 2, minus 3. Cool. So that's, uh, what is that? That's our direction vector now, right? So this is our direction. And then I want a point. Which point can I use? You can use any point. You can use any point, actually. So we could use A, and then, then we would get the equation of the line would be 1 minus 1, 2. So that's your A vector. 
and then plus lambda b, where b is not this guy, but actually your direction. So lambda 1, negative 2, negative 3. And in fact, as I prepared earlier, that should be one of these ones. So negative 1, 2, 3, yeah. There we go. And so there's your equation of a line that you can see it's creating, once you add up these vectors, um, or the direction vector, which I don't have there, but um, it's going through these two points, and you're taking one of these and you're adding the direction vector, which is creating all of these points on here. Should we write R equals 2? Yeah, um, well, then you'd have to sort of say what R is equal to, I guess. Um, I'm not too sure if that's defined, like what the notation is. The equation of a line is. Uh, maybe we should say, I think what they usually write is like, they either say R or they do say X, Y, Z as like, like this. That's another way that they write it. <laughs> let's, let's go with Z, let's go with R for now. So the equation of the line is this, but like Matt said, right, there's actually a lot of other different solutions as well. You could graph it and you get the same thing. For example, if you had if you chose the other point, you could take, let's make it R2, um, 2, negative 3, negative 1, plus that same direction vector, and you'll get the same value, right? You'll get the same um, line, but just be aware that these landers, they would actually be different values there. So you may land them on the two. So, you know, there's actually a lot of different solutions that we can get for this.